So here we are, the final boss. Time for the confirmed bangers. See, you have to use the hero shot, and this is where the problems begin. First, this level looks really nice. It really does, yeah. Plus, it's got the fo the music going already, which I love. Just the little like crowd chant. Dun dun. the glasses are sick. Yeah, I mean, who wouldn't go to the other side of a war for those glasses? It's, it's still a great concept for a final boss, this. <laughs> But yeah, so Hero Shot level 1 it shoots very slowly and that makes this fight just take ages and hard, it's harder to do. Yeah, that, you do not have a good gun for this fight. No. I have like mixed feelings on this boss because like, I like the concept but it also just kind of feels, eh? Yeah, I mean, it's basically just the same boss mix between one again, which is a bit, eh. Just with like the little like, platforming level challenge thing around it. Yeah, but I really like some of it, I really like having the upgrade of hero shot for it. Uh, yeah, that would have helped like, a lot. The little bits at the end, with the grind rails are cool. Uh, I like it the whole, the whole bit, just, oh, no. I, li I like it, I do like it. Yeah. I do feel well we get to I do feel like the Kelly plot could have been done a bit better and I realise I am talking with the plot and I'm primarily multiplayer game about like squids for kids. They are also kids. But even so Yeah. Still, I like the fight. Well, it is fun. The yeah. music is great. I'm just like there's a couple of moments in it that are just very cool. The hero shot is getting me wrecked here. It is a little bit, yeah. And there I was because I was like had the armor break, I was like moving slower, so it's just kinda like well fuck. So we're doing this for a bit. I mean I I would say that I'm surprised, but I'm not, in the slightest. When I saw how little damage your hero shot was doing on the first fist, I was like, there's speed up coming in here at some point, I fucking yeah, hope. Yeah, yeah. It, it just can shoot fast enough. Um, I guess like, that's part of my bad for like not upgrading it. Yeah, I, also I, didn't I don't, think I don't really think Nintendo planned on anyone getting into this fight having not upgraded it. But I also hadn't figured out if you have to like, make it dramatically change or anything. Yeah. So, uh... It is a shame the speed up takes away the music, because it's good music. Well, it's sort of still there, it's just very... Well, yeah, like, very fast music. I 
do like the detail of how he's singing the end and so on. Yeah. I mean, little touches like that always... Just... They're so good. They kind of elevate the experience when you notice them, and they're good in a meaningful way, like... The song has actually changed to reflect the situation from that school. It's not like... The thing with like Assassin's Creed Origins that somebody put it out is like not exactly what it was. But like a custom animation that only happens like in a very specific point if you do something. Yeah. And it's like how much fucking money and time is spent making that? And like no one's gonna notice this or see it. Like, sometimes I like it, but it depends on how it's done. It depends on how it's done, what the animation is, and how likely it is it's gonna be seen, you know, if it's Commonly going to be seen. That's that's fine. But this was like a thing, you know. You had to be like holding a torch while oh, I can't even remember. But it was basically like you could have just had the torch vanish and come back. He didn't have to have a big animation for like. Ah, okay. it was like him putting away the torch and all that. Something like that, yeah. And then say like, they did all that, and then they said we couldn't have girls. Yeah. Well, well, that's the classic, isn't it? <laughs> I do like that running towards the double fist is actually a good way to dodge them. Yeah. It, it looks rad as well as just being fun. <laughs> this, how long did this take you? I'm pretty sure, like, I guess we'll see when it times me. I can't remember if it times me or not. Yeah, they can I, but like, my god, no one even really like this fight. Yeah, like, I guess my feelings are colored by how much of a nuisance it was, but then this happens. Yeah, this is this is the debate I was all about, it's so good. Singing yeah, no, I knew he would win. I just thought I would go and play that off for you. Uh, the duet will be starting soon, too. I think she just decided that, well, nah, I'm gonna sing this kind of like, great. You can take some shots for me. It's uh, low tiding, so it wouldn't work, guys. Is that what it means, I guess? Is like it doesn't just fucking wreck you, it just taps you a bit? Yeah, maybe. You, you get hit by the recoil, but not any damage. We, we have solved the mystery. So doing three with ammo types. <laughs> I did love, I think it was the AGDQ Splatoon run. They were at this point and it mentions low tiding, and somebody goes, what the fuck is low tiding anyway? And the runner gave this like, really good explanation, and like really convincingly, and then it was just like, yeah, I just made that up. <laughs> Despite the fact she's standing on like a portable stage. <laughs> so dumb. On this fucking year. She's only a bad eye at this launching into this song. Of course not. Professional she, after all. Yeah, she is professional. Like this whole bit, now like the music change, the rainmaker, all this is just so good. It is. So I was like, fuck, I'll just shoot him from here. But then he like flies away and I was kind of like, ah, oh, shit. <laughs> and then I was like, do I need to shoot this before I go ahead? Like, what? That's alright. 
This is pretty awesome, though. It, it really is. Especially because they put the real thing to an island, it's like a real Sonic game. Although you're not shooting the fists and so stuff. Well, these are all spin ones so far, so. Yeah, you jumped the one normal one. Just like the fucking colors and everything, it's just like, dog damn. Yeah, it's pretty impressive. And this is how you do the like, really good pages. Without having to spend 10 million on venturing some guy's nipple. Yeah, it's called having like an aesthetic and a design where it just it looks real. Yeah. I'm wrong entirely, I guess. Quite disgraceful. I mean, any game that ends with the final boss going, I can't resist the grooves any longer. <laughs> is... <laughs> Fucking 10 out of 10. It's left it too late on that one. Yeah. Oh, it's time. I was like, I'll jump from here, but I didn't see the real thing. <laughs> Should have been able to jump from there, though. I don't know, I like the dramatic reeling. <laughs> Just fucking slam it into his face. You essentially just murdered him. Yeah. Crossfade the black. Goodbye, audience. You're all dying with him. We have essentially just blown up a stadium there, yeah. Yeah. It's fine, there were octolings. I mean, okay, whoa. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. No one noticed him being put back somehow? Uh, it happened in the dead of night, and squids have very rigid bedtimes. Assassin, he is a friend. He's like vital to the survival of the city. <laughs> I love the holy carp. Why no one likes Pearl? I mean, I wish I could agree with you, but people do like Pearl, and it's very disappointing to me. It's fucking beautiful. Ah, the war races. Those Agreed. Fuck, I love them. <laughs> and that's split it in two. Yeah, time for one of the best credits. Yeah, this is pretty great. Take a great big piss all over the credits. <laughs> and if you don't, then you're not allowed to see the names of anybody who worked on it. <laughs> you're undeserving. I do like this. So like, it's put, like actually putting like, effort into the credits. It's yeah, it's really good. And it actually encourages you to like watch and learn who these people are. And, yeah, I mean, like, you're far more likely to remember one of their names than you are of, like, you know, the 400th name in the credits of the latest Ubisoft game. 400 is generous. 
I said the 400th name. I didn't say the credits ended at 400. <laughs> that's, that's very true. Yeah, like, on that note, I'm actually surprised by, like, how few staff are here compared to the average. Yeah, I mean, it's... It's the thing that, like... They don't let their dev budgets run away with them. You know, if you, have 20, if you have 20 or 30 or 40 people making a game, yeah, it might take more than, like, the stupid, like, one and a half to two year dev cycle that... Sort of the big publishing houses of the West really love, but... You also spend like millions less. Yeah. Your, your games might actually turn a profit with four million sales. Capcom, like... <laughs> Squ Square. You, just, you can just... just release a game and off it goes. I don't know what HTML content there was in this, but all right. Oh God knows. Maybe there was some kind of like pre-release website thing going on, and they're included in the game. Yeah, maybe. Separate listings for NO NOA localization for some reason. Probably the ones who did all the work and are the ones who usually get all the credit. <laughs> this is a curious thing where, like, Nintendo's of America and Europe will sometimes completely localize games differently in English. Yeah. Thank God, thank God they do, given Nintendo of America suck at it. Yep, yeah, hang on, I'll be back in a sec. Yeah. music as well is. Also, he did such a better job of painting the credits than I did. I cannot do anything in peace in this house. I mean, you can apparently paint the Splatoon credits pretty well. I'm saying you painted them a lot better than I did. <laughs> what were you doing? I don't know, I just was shit at painting them. <laughs> you cannot control your urine like I do. Evidently not, no. It's a very finely honed skill. <laughs> I mean, I do think, I'm, I'm worried how you did so well now if your art technique was just pissing on your TV. <laughs> Model is soft, apparently, like, assisted on this game, which I find interesting. Yeah, they apparently have assisted on loads in Nintendo's recent stuff. Yeah, okay, I know which... they, they helped on Breath of the Wild, which makes a bit more sense than this, but... Yeah. I do like this little... Yeah. It's just Sheldon at the bottom, being a loser. Like he deserves. You get these for use in multiplayer, they're shit. Yeah, nobody ever uses them, really. You also get one of these, just for shits, I guess. I mean, where were they going to put it in in the level? True. And that's Splatoon 2. Yeah, very good game it is too. Mm -hmm. And stick around for our multiple- no, fuck off. The channels are already like all salmon run shit, just whatever. <laughs> Absolutely filled with them, yeah. The, the, the channel is mostly Splatoon 2. So, this just completes the set, I guess. Because that's everything covered now. Yeah, I mean, if we were going to become a channel all about any single game, you could pick a worse one than Splatoon 2. Yeah. This is where I start releasing my Splatoon 2 lore videos. I oh god, no. I call it Prepare to Ink. How could you do this, Gavin? <laughs> you led me into this venture on good faith. Squid Theory. Is Marina actually an Octoling? Or is she... Excellent. I went off this wild ride. <laughs> oh, I remember that polo shirt. <laughs> this haunting polo shirt from ages ago. Yeah, where well you got about 40 million of the things. And you can still get them just in random things instead of like anything actually useful. Yeah. How lovely. Before we go, it's just a little bit of a wander around. This is the lobby. 
These are ancient drawings that probably don't exist anymore. <laughs> These are all the fucking old memes. For some reason that dog is haunting and familiar, but I don't know where from. It looked like they all come up. I've never actually washed up is the thing. Neither have I, but it does look like a dog from it. And so it is a wee bit of post game tomfoolery. Octavia just floating in the back there. He's just, he's just going like, I don't believe this shit. I like there's a snow globe too. I mean, gotta give him something to break out of in Splatoon 3. <laughs> it's actually the one from Splatoon 1 to have it taped up again. Yeah. So Zed, you gotta give him something he's able to break out of again. Otherwise, how are we gonna make a third game? It's, it's basically just do the credits again. So. Yeah. Yeah. The, you can go to the final boss fight of the game. There'll be like new dialogue to explain what's why it's happening again. Which is. Splatoon 1 also did that. And it's also like a more comical version. Yeah. But I, I didn't mean, record this, that because. Mm. This one, it's literally just. Kelly, you let yourself get kidnapped again? And she just goes, I like the sunglasses. Yeah. <laughs> Which, to be fair, I mean, it's pretty good. It's better than just having no reasoning behind yeah. the replay thing. I do like that they thought to do that. You can fuck with him a bit. I never actually tried to do that. <laughs> you could also do it in the first game. You just shot this thing and you just kind of freaked out. Fair enough. Like what are you trying here? to do now? I'm just like, you just have to zoom in. Oh. So you can't use the first person view in here for some reason. Because how dare you want to look at things, Gavin? It's like examining the detail on the house and also wondering why is there a bird here? It's a uh, carrier pigeon. So also there's a sofa here now. Well, it's a TV. You can't have a TV without a sofa. Yeah, but look at the angle though. Like, that's a. Yes. Like, you can't fucking see that from there. You just gotta move the TV. Just slide it around a wee bit. <laughs> but that's us. Goodbye, Splatoon 2. Bye. And then, next time, I'm gonna touch my PS4 again. Oh, Jesus Christ. You said touch my put, and I was really <laughs> wondering where you were going with that. <laughs>